So, I am getting to finally clean out my car after many weeks of not cleaning it out. And I wanted to show you a couple of things that has um, been really helping our family stay more organized in our car. Um, these are those little pockets you can get from the store to hold shoes on the back of doors. And we just rigged it up here. It's not the prettiest rig, but it holds wipes, diapers, and blankets, and like car cleaning stuff. You get the idea. Um, but what I like about these is the, the ones that you buy for kids are actually not very well, good for like fitting older diapers. Uh, you can't fit blankets in there. Things that we would, kind of larger items. Um, I even have some hooks that hook on the back here that um, the hooks that you would use to hook on the door. So I take those hooks, I put them right here and I hang the girls' coats here because you know we're in with Mississippi winter weather and that means Mornings you need a coat and afternoons you don't. So that's how we keep the coat mess under control is when we use those hooks and I just hang it up over the back of the seat. Um, we've got this little walkway into the back seats. Here's the back. Um, complimentary uh, seats are, have been removed from by family because they're keeping the girls today. So woo -woo. I got to vacuum out underneath the seats. Um, but as I was doing it this time, it was like super bad. And I was thinking, cause I'm like, this is a lot of food. And I, I knew we had a lot of junk that, you know, just kit toys that the girls had brought in. And I was like, well, what's gone wrong that it's, you know, is this bad? And I was thinking back to, it has been weeks, probably a month, maybe a little over since I cleaned out the car last. And it was just a really good like checkpoint of like, with the holidays, we've gotten really busy, so our regular routines have sometimes fallen to the side or been pushed aside. So, normally, on Thursdays, I get home from Mops, and that's when I clean out the car. I bring out the dolls, the toys, the food breakfasts, because when we go to Mops, we're usually going to Meridian, so we're packing like breakfast and lunch and all that, and kids are eating in the car, basically. Um, so I would do it after that day because I know it's just going to be trashed out on that day. Um, so I do it when we get back and that's kind of like the rhythm and the routine that we usually have for a weekly basis. But with the holidays and then having some meetings that we've skipped and it's just kind of um, thrown off that routine, um, that weekly get to it. And it was just a really good like reminder like your routines are so important not because like thir there's anything magical about a Thursday afternoon cleaning out your car but that you have a habit structure in place that triggers the next one to take place and that's what keeps you on your rhythm so that so that it's not a big to do to get to um, keeping your area nice and tidy or your car nice and tidy um, but here it was a little bit bigger to do because we had missed some weeks but it was less of a big to do because of um, structures and things that we've had in place to help with the organization of it so at least it was mostly just vacuuming up food and taking all the toys back inside that had been hauled in by the girls so um we also have this little one on this side because this holds their snacks hairbrushes um some more blankets at the bottom so um we do both seats because we have four girls and um when you put blankets and diapers for all of them and snacks for all of them it um can sometimes be a lot depending how long we're traveling for how long you plan to be out of the house and that kind of thing but the importance of I think the message takeaway that I'm taking away today is stay in your routine those small tiny habits that you do that um, or even just your schedule that can trigger that next little small habit that you do does matter and if you miss it and skip it enough you will see it matters um, and I know it's difficult for everybody during the holiday season. It is for us too because, you know, for here, for example, we're opting to do other, you know, events or things and it will run to the next thing. And the schedule is a little bit different than it normally would be. And that, you know, you think, oh, I'll just clean out the car this day or I'll do it another time this week but the reality is when we live life like this I mean it's okay to do it for the holidays but when you live life like that like oh well I was planning to do this but I think I'm just gonna reschedule it for this day or do it another day this week it never really actually gets done so um 
as a young mother with kids and stuff, I've really learned the value, really learned the value of um, honoring those little small things that um, I've set in place to trigger the next thing that I need to do to keep the systems kind of moving and just keeping things under control because it's so easy um, to just be like, oh yeah, we can totally do that, you know. And sometimes it's just the, the fact of saying, I could to totally do that, but I have this 15 minute or, you know, five minute thing that I'm going to do before I do that um, and not just shoving it to the side and stuff because um, as a mom with small kids, when your kids, I don't know, I don't have older kids, so I can't speak for this, but when you have small kids, it's not like they can pick up the slack for you any. Um, there is a little bit of teamwork that they're learning, but they're kids and it's sometimes more messy when they are helping and that's okay. It's good for them to learn, but um, for me as mom realizing, I, I'm the one who has to make sure that everything goes by its order. So that, um, Basically, things are functioning smoothly and well, um, so that we can function really is the deal. Um, because if you can't get in your car, or you can't find things, or you have shoes lost in the car, it makes it really hard to go places. Um, so anyway, that's my encouragement is if you don't have schedules or routines in your calendar that you can use, um, consider setting some up and using those actually as triggers for your um, to do checkpoints for things that you know might have a weekly to do or monthly to do and set it up behind one of those um, because it'll be a lot more um, easy to fall into that habit and that schedule if you already have it on something that you have like physically scheduled to your calendar to go so and so so and so place or see so and so or um, something that you do already on a monthly basis or weekly basis put it right behind that to be your trigger if you're learning a new habit or trying to implement something so